Hey my good friends, Sam Haymart. For Test Driven TV, the all new 2019 Chevrolet Silverado was unveiled at the Detroit Auto Show. Faster and bigger than before, but more fuel efficient by losing up to 450 pounds. Not by going all aluminum or all turbo like Ford, but by taking a different approach. How they did it, coming right up. Leading up to the reveal of the all new 2019 Chevrolet Silverado pickups, the big questions have been about aluminum. Would they go all aluminum like Ford and make themselves hypocrites after beating up their beds with toolboxes and bricks for the past few years? The short answer is no. Weight had to be lost though, and what Chevrolet has done is use the same mixed material approach they've applied to cars like the Cadillac CT6 and their crossover SUVs. This shed as much as 450 pounds from the largest 2019 Silverado Crew Cab V8. It's not the sum 700 pounds of weight savings Ford boasts of, but Chevrolet chose to stick with steel for large expanses of the body structure, including most importantly, the bed, the one place of the truck that must endure and take punishment more than any other. An all-new bed design is now constructed of a mixture of materials, starting with a roll-formed high-strength steel floor panel that's stronger and more robust than even the 2018 Silverado. The side structures are made of milder steel and because they don't share the same stamping as the floor, they're designed to allow more flat space in the bed. This results in a design that allows more space around the wheel wells, about 20% more cargo than competitors with the one-piece stamping. Chevrolet tells us that new storage bin options will be available that can fit snug into the new areas and still allow stacks of 4x8 sheets in between them. Most notable of this new bed design is that Chevrolet could later change the material used in the side sections to composite or aluminum if desired to save weight. The tailgate here, however, is aluminum, as are all of the opening panels of the new Silverado, including the hood and the cab doors. The cab itself uses a combination of different metals, starting with advanced high-strength steel for the safety cage. This made superstructure of the strongest metals creates rigidity and strength for crash performance and that solid feel that you want. This is then backed up with high-strength steel in the floorboard and the rear wall for sheer strength, along with forward bracing in the body structure. Outer skin, such as on the front fenders, the A, B, and C pillars, as well as a roof are mild steel, as are the firewall and radiator support structures. Aluminum is used in the cowl. Moving on to its fully boxed steel frame, the 2019 Silverado loses up to 88 pounds here, yet sees 10% improvements in torsional rigidity. This is because it's made of some 80% high-strength steel in different sections made up of roll-forming, hydroforming, stampings, and specially formed blanking. Each section of the frame has different thicknesses from 2 to 5 millimeters depending on what's needed, and the rails themselves are joined by a combination of both high-strength and mild steel cross members. Most notable to me here are the robust outrigging structures seen at the front of the frame and behind the front suspension made of high-strength steel. These additional structural enhancements should help the 2019 Chevrolet Silverado perform much better than the current generation in the IIHS small offset crash testing. These significant strides in weight savings along with a variety of new powertrain technologies for 2019 should allow Chevrolet to be competitive with Ford's all-aluminum body construction and vast array of turbocharged powertrains. Though it's not as extreme as Ford's move to the progressive, it should allow for Chevrolet to hold their high ground on the tough, gritty like a rock reputation they've been steel hammering Ford's aluminum with for some time. All right, there you have it for Chevrolet's mixed material approach on the all new 2019 Silverado. We've got a couple other videos we're putting together for the Silverado because there's a lot to talk about as well as the Detroit Auto Show playlist right there. A lot of truck news also from Ford and Ram, huge big stuff. Also, click right there, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll keep you informed on everything we do.